And in the framework of the International World Anti-Fascist Youth Congress, we make a contact with our correspondent Belen de los Santos, who is at this hour joined by Ina Daftian Media School representative. Hi, Bell. What details can you share with us at this hour? Hello, Ale. Exactly. We're here at the Francisco de Miranda Convention Center in Caracas as the Youth Congress, the Anti-Fascist Youth, Co Youth Congress is taking place here in Venezuela. And as you were saying, there's over 1,000 delegates that are joining uh, Venezuela here now to discuss, debate relevant topics in the world struggle against fascism. That is what this Congress is all about, about bringing the youth in particular together to share their experiences from over 70 countries. We have delegates here in Caracas today, and they are getting together at different work tables to discuss different topics, for example, such as women and gender, the environment, and different strategies in their fight against fascism that they are all coinciding is a relevant topic here in the world, and it has different particularities in each specific territory. So in that context, we are joined now by Ina Davtian, she is from Armenia, she is here and is also a media school representative. She is joining us in Tell Us Her English. Thank you, Ina. And to start, we would like to have your, your thoughts, your opinions about why is this Congress, this international congregation of youth regarding the struggle against fascism important? Part of this uh, is really important for us. Uh, we love Venezuela. This is actually our delegate's first time here, so we enjoy every second of it. Right. And you work in particular at a media school. You work with the understanding and also education to the general population, in particular to the youth, regarding their use of media, social networks. And that is really a key topic when we talk about the fight against fascism. We've seen different scenarios in, well, political campaigns and also in other contexts regarding fake news. It's really a matter that we need to be discussing and thinking and educating our youth. Can you tell us about your experience? Uh, well, we always think that I mean, in the world, everyone always thinks that propaganda is uh, something about negativity because the connotation of the word is always negative. But we want to, we want the youth to understand that propaganda can be used can be used for the benefit of the country as well. It can be a good ideology. It can be something used for uh, the benefit, not just as a negative thing. So, educating the youth, especially in this global globalization world today. When everyone is allowed to say whatever they want in the media, in uh, social medias, when uh, fake news is every the flow of fake news is very fast and it's very big, and our generation nowadays, the consuming generation, especially when it comes to information, so we want the youth to understand that they need to differentiate and try to understand which news they need to believe and which news maybe not or how to check if the news is right or if it's fake and how to differentiate what they see on the internet and not just to believe everything they read. Exactly. And if we hear so much about the dangers of, of media nowadays, the fake news, the possibilities of spreading lies, for example, that have a lot of negative mm -hmm. impact. Do you think there's also hope or room to use these tools to come together to promote international struggle. We're here with delegates from all over mm -hmm. uh, the world, 70 countries. Is the media and social network also a way to promote those anti-imperialistic struggles? I believe that as soon as, as long as we have this kind of uh, congresses or uh, festivals or something, there is definitely a way. Because uh, after all, we may be all different, we speak different languages, we listen to different kind of music, but we fight for one thing and we fight against one thing. So unity is always what brings uh, us together. Uh, as well for Armenia, because uh, Armenia has a very long history, we've faced many challenges alongside. Uh, including fighting against against fascism alongside with other Soviet Union countries. So I believe if we uh, conquered that thing once, we can definitely do it again only together. 
Excellent. Thank you, Ina, for Thank joining very us much. and tell us your English. And that was Ina Damtian from Armenia. Alice, so we're continuing to have this talk with different delegates. And as you were saying, and as our audience was seeing, here is this Congress is a room for and a place for holding all of these different discussions. Media, for example, is one of the topics that we see in the different stands. There's a lot of talk about the television, the social networks, and the way that the youth, as Ina was just saying, can use this with the correct awareness as a platform for unity, as a platform for struggle. And the idea that everyone is now coming together with this such rich experiences from all over the world, experiences that maybe we would not know if not for the delegates, the young delegates that are coming here and sharing what you're doing, what challenges they are facing, and also what alternatives they're thinking about and building. Because this Congress is also about drawing up a common agenda and drawing up a common pathway for the coming years, because of course, we're analyzing the challenges that the current world poses upon us, but it's the youth, those who are going to dream of our future and dream of a world that united with the experiences from all over the global south and the world will draw up a plan for the coming years. So that is it for now, right now, but we will continue to touch base with you and continue bringing different testimonies for perspectives here from the Youth Congress in the Anti-Fascist Congress in Venezuela. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for all the information. We will keep in contact throughout the day. We were listening to our correspondent in Caracas, Belén de los Santos, in the framework of the International World Anti-Fascist Youth Congress that will take place in the capital until November 21st.